More than 15 million root canals are performed every year in the U.S. I have a root canal. Ladies, do you have a root canal? I don't. No, I've never had one. I don't. How about you, a lot audience? Of, a lot of nods. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Nods. It's so very common. I'm surprised the two of you have not, but I'm happy for you. But there's a new documentary out there suggesting that it may be a cause for concern. There's no branch of medicine that exists where a dead organ is left in, except in dentistry where a root canal is left in. The vast majority of chronic degenerative diseases begin with problems in the mouth. Unfortunately, the uh, dental schools look at the mouth as being a mannequin and that you can do any type of procedure without any direct impact on the rest of the body, but this is the farthest thing from the truth. The people that come to see them with chronic illness, the question is how many of them have a dental cause of their illness? I would say almost all of them. One of the greatest public health interventions we could possibly do is to make the root canal procedure something of the past. Yeah, I'm hearing a lot of wows in the audience. This has caused quite a controversy. In fact, the American Dental Association and Association of Endodontists accused root cause of spreading misinformation. We're joined now by endodontist Dr. Patrick Taylor. Join us via Skype to talk about this documentary. And I'm going to cut to the chase, Dr. Taylor. What is your take on the movie's central claim that root canals can lead to illness, in many cases, they say severe illness. Well, and that clip demonstrated our complaint about the movie is they are spreading a lot of misinformation about uh, root canals in general. And it's a disproven theory uh, that was popular in the 20s and 30s. But with modern medicine, there's not a, a, a dental school or even a medical complex that, that espouses those theories anymore. So we think it's damaging to public health to, to be spreading that kind of information. Can you, can you talk about what a root canal is and when it's needed? The, the part of the tooth you can see, uh, the, the enamel is the hardest tissue in the body. Underneath that is a more of a shock absorber that's the density of bone. It's called dentin that forms the root. And on the inside of that, the organ that formed that is called the pulp. Most people re refer to that as the nerve, but it's more than just a nerve. It's blood supply and some connective tissue and all, too. Once the tooth is fully formed, the function of that is more sensory just to let you know when you're eating things that are too hot or too cold. A root canal uh, is when that tissue gets infected or, or irreversibly inflamed. We go in through the top of the tooth, through the crown of the tooth, uh, access those, those nerve canal spaces where the, where the nerve, live nerve used to be, clean it all out, disinfect it, and then seal it with a material, either a bioceramic or gutta perch is, is traditionally been the uh, biocompatible material that we use. And by removing that, that infection from the inside of the tooth, the body can fight any infection that's out in bone. It's a safe, effective procedure that, that allows a tooth to main, be maintained in the mouth for years to come.